Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be comparing different gaming headsets and seeing how they sound like playing your guitar through them. So the typical use case here would be you're a gamer and you've just gotten into playing the guitar and all you have is a gaming headset. So you want to ask the valid question, is my gaming headset really sufficient for getting decent guitar sounds out of my instrument and my audio interface and my amp sims for example. So I'm going to start out with my regular headset which is the Bayer Dynamics DT990 Pro, or so whatever they're called, something like that. They're coming in at around about 130 pounds. So each gaming headset I'm going to be looking at is sort of the upper mid-range uh, headset. So about 100, above 100 to 130. I think I have one in here that's 170 pounds. And we're going to be comparing them to these to see if they're comparable. Uh, what is the basic differences and, and whatnot? So I haven't really played the guitar today, so I'm just going to quickly jam a little bit just on these just to get a baseline for the audio and then I'll talk a bit more about the headsets that I'm using. <laughs> crazy train inspired um, <clears throat> okay let's pop the guitar down for a moment and let's go have a look and see what we're actually comparing this headset to okay so we have a pair of Logitech's G935s these are quite old um, I think when these were new they were about 170 pounds ish in and around that area uh, we have a pair of Steel Series Arctis 7 Pros. So these are actually also quite old. These are the original Arctis 7 Pros when they first came out. They've since seen some minor updates, but as far as I'm aware, the actual sound quality hasn't changed that much. I have changed the muffs on these, so because they're the ones that wear out the, 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 the earliest. But this headset's in great condition, actually, for being this old. Um, oh, and incidentally, this particular Arctis 7 Pros, you will see these in pretty much any top 10 magazine or any top 10 rating for the best gaming headset money can buy. You're often going to see these on that list. Um, so, yeah, high expectations for these. Coming up, we have, and it's stuck. Could you fucking believe it? Ah, sorry. Yes. We have got an Amazon 10 pound pair of headphones. Um, I bought these for an entirely different project at one point or another, but I thought it'd be fun to try these out in this capacity. So anyway, not expecting much from these at all. So anyway, I think it would be best to go directly to the Steel Series in this case. So let's try that out. How I'm doing this, is I am just plugging it directly into the stereo part. So they're using them as just a regular stereo headphones. And then I'm plugging it straight into my audio interface. So we're not making use of any of the dongle or anything like that that it comes with, because I think that will throw the, the test somewhat. Okay, so now that we are plugged in, it would be useful if I took these off actually. Pop those down and pick up the Steel Series. We have them right here. Let's try them on. Right out of the gates, they're relatively comfortable. So for playing, uh, long playing sessions shouldn't be too much of an issue, which is obviously a good thing. But let's now get a feel for the sound. Before I do, actually, it's worth mentioning Headphones have impedances, so the DT990 Pros are 80 ohms, whereas I'm pretty sure all these gaming headsets are about 30. They'll also have different drivers in them. 
which means if you were to do this uh, this test somewhat scientifically, like a, with a proper methodology, you should at least try and volume match them. So that way you don't get, you know, fall under the trap, louder equals better, which is definitely not the case in this in these scenarios. Uh, but I think I have enough experience in listening to <laughs> the audio to not be fooled by that. So um, I'm not going to overly volume match them for myself. Anyway, let's, for the first time, hear what these sound like. <laughs> Kind of sounds like a different guitar, if I'm to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's very much like somebody applied a bunch of EQ to it, uh, which isn't too hard to imagine there because different headphones have different EQ, um, uh, well, if different EQ graphs that they use. So you would expect to hear subtle differences, but there's quite a big difference in the sound. I'll make it clear, it's not that it's a bad sounding headset, or not that it's, you know, so much worse than the DT990 Pros. It's just there is a distinctive difference. And in many ways, there is a, a subtle lack of clarity there. It seems like it's kind of flat. It sounds flatter. <laughs> uh, sometimes flat response is what you want, of course. But in this particular scenario, the flat response is not necessarily very musical in that way. Um, almost sounds like an oxymoron because you flat response shouldn't be musical at all but it's difficult to explain but these definitely feel cheaper in their sound so that's something to point out as far as volumes go the volumes are fairly close i would have expected there to be these to be a lot louder actually um but there we go so let's try out the logitech next i think just to simplify this i'm just going to unplug this here take these off and pop them down there pick up the logitechs yeah if i can do this without even moving the guitar that'll be fantastic plug them in here i'm not entirely sure what the left or the right this is left ear apparently okay all right um comfort wise these are very comfortable I'm not a huge fan of pleather, this like weird pleathery stuff that comes in headphones, uh, because in long playing sessions, your head uh, gets hot, heats up, and it can like create a bit of sweat and whatnot through there, which actually can be quite uncomfortable. Um, but just basic comfortability, these are very comfortable. And they, because they're, they're a bit more closed environment, they offer some sound protection. They're not uh, they're not sound cancelling, but there's a, they're not noise cancelling, but there is a little bit more of a, a, a closure there. So let's hear what they sound like. <laughs> They sound quite a lot harsher. Um, they definitely have more volume to them, which is probably the drivers in them. Uh, but that they're, they're quite harsh, which is a... I think with a little bit of EQ, actually, you could tame these pretty pretty easily. But that harshness is 
almost a bit off-putting, particularly if I'm playing quite aggressively on the guitar. Uh, so this, it, it chugs through a bit and hmm, it's not very pleasant. I think with a bit of EQ, you could fix these quite easily. Uh, but my vote would definitely go to the Steel series uh, right out of the gates in terms of quality. Initially, when you put these on, you might be uh, semi-confused and lulled into, oh, they sound quite good. But if, I think your ears would get tired very quickly listening to these. So, yeah. These cost £170. The Artist 7 Pros are about 130 ish in my honest opinion. Just And again, we're just talking about... Are playing the guitar we're not talking about gaming here playing the guitar through them i would rather play the guitar through the artist 7 pros than these so anyway let's now switch over to the amazon cheap ones let's turn the guitar down i think the best way to do this is to take off these and find out where the extension plug is here because we have it right here plug that down okay these are obviously kind of like a joke pair <laughs> um, 10 pounds you're not expecting much i'm trying to figure out which is the left i'm gonna have a wild guess and say oh there we are this is the right wow they're uncomfortable So this is just my extension. I'm plugging it in to make sure it clicks in. So in terms of comfort, these are about a one out of 10. In fact, if I was to play longer than half an hour, my ears would start to hurt with these. Um, let's get an out feel for what it sounds like. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I gave it away a bit quickly there, didn't I? <laughs> How to describe them actually imagine if you had a brick wall and somebody was playing an instrument on the other side of that wall and you put your ear against that wall to hear what they were playing that's what these feel like everything's there but it sounds really muted and sort of pushed back in the distance it's it's kind of <laughs> It's, there's bass there, there's there's top end there, there's high mid, there's low mid, it's all there, but it's very muted, very strange actually. I'm not sure EQ would fix this in any which way, and besides them being quite uncomfortable, these aren't necessarily what you'd want to be playing for long term. That said, of course, I certainly can play guitar through these. Um, if I have options, I probably wouldn't. But if I don't have options, well, I wouldn't let it be a barrier to me playing the guitar, put it that way. <laughs> um, so to end with, I'm just going to quickly jump from the Artis 7 Pros and then go back to the uh, DT990 Pros just to get a, a better feel for what the actual differences are. So we'll pop the Amazon specials down. And we'll plug up my extension go and we'll pop on these Arctis 7 Pros okay and I'll probably stick with that little riff I was playing in a minute ago because I actually quite like that so. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Um, they're okay. Ah, oh, just for sheer comfortability, these just win hands down. Easily win hands down. Um, so, what about audio? Now, it's very interesting because the volume difference is actually... I initially thought it was lesser than it was, but it's way more than I thought, actually. So, when I went initially from the DT990 Pro to the bed, uh, uh, from to the steel series i thought oh, the, maybe they, the the volume difference wasn't that significant but actually going the other way around just made me realize that the volume difference is very significant so let me just lift that up a little bit on my audio interface <laughs> So the verdict of this video is, can you play guitar through a gaming headset? Even a cheap gaming headset? Sure, of course you can. Um, should you? Uh, why not? If that's all you've got, go for it. <laughs> uh, don't let anything be a barrier to you playing and enjoying the guitar. If you have options, should you maybe get something different, like spending some money on a decent stereo headphones or studio monitors or something like that? Absolutely. Um, I guess my advice here would be for gaming, if all you have is, let's say, the Steel Series or the Logitechs, it's fine. If you want to get into recording music, I would suggest getting something that is a little bit slightly better, gives you a bit more of an accurate picture of what you're listening to, like these, for example, or something similar. But ultimately, if you... If you don't have the luxury of going out and spending any money, in, in other words, you're trying to be a sensible purchaser and you want to decide what you need to spend your money on, if all you have are the Steel Series or the Logitech, for example, and you're thinking, right, should I go out and buy a pair of monitors? So, you know, a decent pair of uh, um, uh, mixing monitors or a decent headphones, my advice would be buy the monitors because you're going to get way more use out of them. I mean, I know we're talking about playing the guitar through the headphones, but to be perfectly honest, I very rarely play guitar through headphones. I primarily play them through my monitors. Um, but there we go. But when it comes to music, mixing, of course, and recording, obviously a decent pair of headphones is going to get you a long, long, a, a, a huge amount of mileage out of them. So with that in mind, I would strongly recommend actually upgrading from your gaming headset to a decent pair of headphones. It does make a world of difference, even though, like I said, the gaming headsets are they're perfectly viable. Um, in terms of which pair would I be playing on today, Obviously, I'll be playing with my uh, my studio monitors on my head, but in a pinch between the two headphones, there I'd probably go with the Steel Series just because it's it's slightly flatter its response. The Logitech's, while being louder, they they sound quite harsh in my ears, and I think a lot of headsets like to sort of tweak around with their EQ there uh, for gaming specific needs. But anyway. I will see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and whatnot. Anyway.